This is the moment that led to me meeting my longtime collaborator, Anne Sophie Mutter. I've um, worked with Anne Sophie Mutter now for over, I think, 25 years or something, um, and she's been extremely important to me in every, every way, musically, professionally, as a person. And um, yeah, we sort of met by chance, um, or even didn't meet, but, but you know, started working together. Um, I was um, a finalist in something called the Friedheim Awards, and um, people apply, and from, those, from that pool they select four people who then have performances of their piece in Washington, and the judges, same set of judges listens and then ranks the, them there. Um, and I had a violin and piano piece called Clockwork being done. It was played, they did the ranking, and um, I was third out of four, out of four. So like, it wasn't total humiliation, but it was like the next notch under, and it, it didn't seem to feel like, like success in any case, you know. Um, and one of the judges, whose name is Lambert Orcus, um, who's Anne Sophie Mutter's pianist for many years, and the, um, the pianist of the NSO in, in the National Symphony also, and he came up to me and said, oh, you know, I really like that piece. I'd like to send it to Anne Sophie, and um, if you don't mind, could you send me a copy? And I did, and of course I thought he was just being nice and sort of humoring me. Um, then in a month or two, I um, got an um, email from her secretary saying, well, she didn't want to play this piece, but she'd like me to write a new piece. And so I did, and I wrote this piece after song, during that year that she was going to perform it, I was living in Rome at the American Academy, so I asked if I could come to performances. And I came to rehearsal, too. I always remember this, too. The first rehearsal um, with her, which was a few weeks, maybe even a month before the first performance, I sit down. I haven't met her, you know, at all. And I sit down to rehearse my piece, and she has it memorized. And I'm thinking, is this, like, is this for real? Because like, usually, you know, you're worried about somebody just like looking at the notes or something like that. Um, we got off to a very good start, and um, she was super wonderful to work with. And then because I was there in Europe, too, so I traveled around with her, mostly in Germany, but all, all sorts of places, like if you know Flensburg, which is the northernmost um, tip of, of um, Germany. So we were in a car a lot together. Um, and it was great fun, and she later admitted to me, she was like, mm, I don't know if this is a wise idea that I'm traveling around with this guy all the time, but it actually worked out really well, and, you know, we became very good friends. You know, it's always that balance between um, having my idea, but letting a performer assert their own individuality too, let's say, um, that I, I wouldn't have written Sense of Vibrato, but she'd play these passages, want to play them with no vibrato, you know, and I'd say, great you know some of those I think I even added to the score in that case could be because it became so um, you know integral to the the way I heard the piece after that mm -hmm.